Hi everyone, I'm Jonathan, messenger for the spirit world. I have a gentleman with me and he used to be in the tank regiment in the First World War. Now, he's just telling me to call him Armour because his name was Armitage but everybody called him Ar Armour or Army. Right, he's... Uh, He's very, very upbeat with his attitude and he's saying, well, why one wouldn't have been? He, <clears throat> right. He's telling me that he used to drive these, these massive tanks. He was a tank driver and he says you had sticks for pulling backwards and forwards to make them go left and right. He says, they were okay on normal land, but as soon as you got into muddy land, he says, they weren't very good. They just churned everything up. And what happened was, bless you, what happened was, he's telling me that he got stuck in a, um, he got stuck in a, sorry, he's just talking <laughs> to me. Lovely guy, really lovely guy. He got stuck in a, um, a crater and it couldn't get out, so they had to jump out this tank. And he says, The gunfire were, were thicker than flies. He says, And we had to run like the clappers. He says, I'll tell you something. He says, I wasn't a runner, but he says, I was after that day. <laughs> He's saying, <clears throat> right, he says you were lucky, <clears throat> excuse me, he says you were lucky because he, he, oh bless you, he says he used to, when he used to go past fields that were, have got crops like potatoes and onions and things, he says we used to stop our tank. He says, and we get the shovel out, he says, and dig these potatoes up, he says, until we've got a few sacks of potatoes and onions, he says, and any other veg like cabbages and things that we could find, anything, he says, and we'd take it down the trenches for the lads, he says, because they didn't get anything, he says, so they needed this, he says, anything we could get us hands on, tea, coffee, he says, we would give it to the lads. He says, we had enough rations anyway, but he says, we were living off the land. He says, and they didn't use a lot of the tanks as such. He says, so when we got another tank, he says that they, um, they, they'd be near these fields and trees and stuff to camouflage them. He says, and these trees, uh, fields had crops in, so we used to dig the crops up. He says, but we always made sure that the lads had ample food. And he says he, he right. He said he he spent his he spent his his war with everybody else, but he says we were more for supplies really. He says because the rounds couldn't go through the armor plating, so we used to get sent off to do things in this tank, you know, messages and things like. Well, not just messages, but. Uh, supplies and all that sort of stuff, uh, ammunition and what have you. He says he hated the war, he hated what it did to people, but he says I survived it. He says I was a survivor, and he 